Salut everyone! In this video, we're gonna talk about Clear Linux. Yes, I did test it in a live stream maybe like two months ago. Yes, I didn't do a final review in a short format. And I I'm gonna tell you why. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. Clear Linux has been in the top of the chart when it comes to optimization on Linux for a long, long time. Most of the optimized kernel use the patch from Clear Linux. And it will be like kind of like normal for me to try this distro while gaming. Because obviously, like the purpose of this channel, in case you didn't know, is all around like gaming on Linux, but also content creation. And I've been trying all, almost like all the distro, at least some of the most like famous one for gaming and i've been sharing my results with you guys uh, live on stream every wednesday and friday on this channel but also through a lot of like uh, video release and and also like challenges that i try to deliver on a weekly basis so this distro is made by intel obviously there is kernel optimization in it the one which are made by the distro maintainers themselves but also optimization related to all the software build tool chain. This is how they call it. But really, when I'm going to start to say some word, it's going to ring a bell for the people who are actually a little bit more involved in the software optimization here. Uh, they use aggressive compiler flag, Mtune, Mmarch, also O3, LTO, PGO. Uh, they use specific user flag that you can set up global flag per package flag. They use multiple build of library with CPU CP specific optimization. Yes, I was able to read it. Important point here, the CPU optimization, they are not limited uh, to Intel. So I read on their forum that you could use different uh, CPU. I'm thinking about AMD CPU here. You will see later in the video, it's totally possible because I did my test on my AMD CPU here. As mentioned earlier, they use like specific kernel optimized for different platforms, special like kernel runtime parameter. Uh, like it, it, it doesn't stop. Like it's just a lot, lot of optimization. And those optimization, as I mentioned before, they are really well known in the community for their actual like performance increase. So if you look at the website of Phonix, which is definitely one of the best, if not the best website when it comes to benchmark, you will see that there is a lot of article on Clear Linux. And Clear Linux is almost always at the top of the stack. And it, it, it was actually for me like a, a, a no brainer when you come to, to taste it. So to resume, Clear Linux is a rolling edge distro made for performance and performance only. And you will see like when we go further into the review, what are the perks, <laughs> obviously for this type of distro and what are the big, big limitations around it. And, and one of the reasons why I didn't make this review right away after uh, testing it live on the stream. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. So let's start with the positive. The first thing I want to mention is like you don't need an Intel CPU to use this distribution. It should work on most of the recent CPU. And when I say recent CPU is like five, six years old CPU. My CPU is uh, three years old, I believe. Uh, it's a uh, AMD Zen 3 5950X. No problem. Uh, n nothing to be worried about. I know like some of the uh, users are always worried like because they don't own uh, Intel CPU, they won't be able uh, to run this distro, but no problem. Uh, the, 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 the distribution was working very well. We'll get into that after, but no problem. Keep that in mind. Second point is related to the installation. The installation itself is not hard at all because it goes through a GUI I'm going to put uh, some, some B-roll here for you to look at how it is. This distro is totally built from scratch. So it doesn't look like any other distro when you install it. You will see the distro has its own package manager, Swapd, which is 
Descent, as a package of manager, we'll talk about it more in the negative part, but it comes with everything built by the clear Linux team. So you really arrive in, in a new world there. And I would say like the, the installation itself is, is pretty easy and straightforward for the GUI. The maintainer proposes a huge amount of ISO and also images for you to deploy uh, this uh, distro on every type of machine, virtual machine also, like cloud machine, like everything you want, they have it. So it's definitely a positive because you can put this distro everywhere. I also need to mention that when you use the live media ISO, the installation will install GNOME by default. It's something important. I'm going to talk about it later. You have other desktop environment available, KDE and XFC, but as I remember, those ones were the only one. So something to keep in mind for the second part of the video. Now, when it comes to performance, let me tell you, I was not disappointed at all. This distro is definitely one of the best when it comes to performance. And the performance there could be translated into gaming performance. Sometimes when you install a distro, you could be in a position where like, oh yeah, everything works the same on every distro, blah, 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 blah. I can tell you there that the performance was there. To give you an idea, I had uh, one of the best run of Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark. I had one of the best run of Cyberpunk benchmark ever on my machine. However, for Overwatch 2, I had some type of issue related some like some type of hiccup in the FPS. I couldn't really understand why he was doing that. But here it was a little bit of a, of a drawback. But I would say the performance overall is there. I hope they fixed it in between. I, I don't know. I know Overwatch sometimes is a little bit capricious and only like certain like distribution can run it out of the box and have a really smooth experience. But overall, I would say like this is really solid. Unfortunately, Everything was not perfect within the distro and, and I really need to share with you my feedback. The first issue I would say is related to the accessibility of Clear Linux. Clear Linux, as they defined it even in their like wiki, their documentation, is not intended to use as a daily driver desktop. At least not for the, I will quote, like the normal user. This distro is intended for the IT specialist, the DevOps, DevOP, I, I don't know how to pronounce this word in English, but people who are working, who are developing within the Linux world or who are like just developers in general, this distro is not intended for anything else. And it shows. It really shows because if you go there and you are a normal user and you just want to download the image, you're going to have, for example, like a really hard time to understand what ISO or image you have to download on your end. I believe I'm pretty experienced when it comes to Linux. And it took me some time to really understand like their path, like their way of thinking, just to set up like their repo for downloading the ISO. So I did it, obviously, but it's, it's kind of shocking that they don't want to work on that. It's not their intent to make the distro available for all the users. It's clearly intended for the well, well, well experienced user. When it comes to gaming, for example, if you run an NVIDIA card like I did, you're going to have to do everything by hand following the way the distro works. So you're going to have to find a specific tutorial, if there is one, to install the NVIDIA driver. And you will see if you want go to watch the live stream, I did struggle a little bit. I had to use the script to go through the whole process. And let me tell you, it's not really, I would say, like intuitive. You're going to have to relearn the base. And it's, it's, it's not easy, to say the least. The other point related to gaming is the fact that the distro is delivered with GNOME. And GNOME, with my machine, at least with my hardware, is not performing well. Like it's, it, 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 it doesn't work with my machine. Maybe with yours, you have a perfect experience with GNOME. But when I compare GNOME and KDE, and I've been doing that for a long time, I always had less performance in GNOME versus KDE. 
So for me, I had to switch from Gnome to KD. And let me tell you, it was another like asshole to do on the top of everything else, right? So yes, the installation process was easy, but you have to think that when you arrive on your desktop environment and you realize that you need to install the driver, you need to uh, change your desktop environment and that you have to use the clear Linux way to do everything, it starts to add up. And it's not something easy to do. Another limitation related to clear Linux is the lack of packages ready out of the box in their repo. So they have like a lot of packages, as I mentioned earlier in the presentation of the distro, which are already like optimized and good to go. However, the amount of packages itself is really limited. You want to install FastFetch? You can't, from their repo at least. So then you're going to be in a position where you need to build them by hand. And for the average user, this could be a pain because every little application you use on a daily basis, well, it might not be ready on clear Linux. They propose, however, like two alternatives. You have Flatpak and another software called Mixer will let you bundle your, your own like packages. I did review the, the distro for like three or four hours. I, I didn't really get into this Mixer thing. Uh, for the flat pack, I had no issue. Obviously, everything was working like pretty well, but it's something to take in consideration if you want to switch to this type of distro. Uh, you're gonna have, you know, to have a lot, lot, lot of patience if you want to use it as a, a daily driver for your desktop. Again, this distro is not intended to be run like that, and you're gonna have a lot of struggle or I would say like extra work compared to another distro. Well, how are we going to conclude this little review? Well, Clear Linux, in my opinion, is doing what it's supposed to do. It's more like uh, an operating system for the dev to really like push the limit of their development with all the flag, all the optimization uh, related to what they are doing on a daily basis. Is it a good daily driver for um, a Lambda user who just want to do, you know, like content creation, uh, gaming, uh, I would say no. Okay, obviously, like crazy performance, but you could see, like, on the four game I try, one was working with some weird hiccup, and this is the type of situation you don't want to be in, right? Because, on one hand, you're gonna have like games, we're gonna have like, I don't know, like 1% or 2% increase. Uh, compared to, for example, like a, a Cache OS. But on the other hand, for this 1% more you're going to get, you're going to have a lot, lot, lot of limitation um, related to the amount of packages, related to the way this distro is built. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a choice question there. If you are willing to learn, if you are willing to, to get in that direction, I, I don't think it could be an issue for you because you are willing to put the time uh, into this type of operating system. I know personally, like, this is not my cup of tea, but I had to make this review to show you, like, how good it could be um, just from, you know, like, my little review there. And, and yeah, it's true, like, Clear Linux definitely, like, uh, is, is, is a really good contender when you come to like pure performance. So yeah, uh, I think that's it uh, for this one. I'm not going to recommend this distro for gaming. Uh, maybe we are actually living in the best of both worlds there where, you know, specialized IT user will enjoy this distro, will like to tweak it and spend a lot of time to, I would say, like achieve a simple task on um, a desktop environment with this distro. But if you are like a, a more like normal or just a gamer, I, I don't think it's worth your time. I, that's, that's my belief. There is other distro out there that are actually taking advantage of uh, the clear Linux patch, I would say, like, uh, let, let's talk about Cache OS. I know uh, they put all the patch from uh, clear Linux within their kernel. 
uh, TKG uh, do the same with uh, its, its custom kernel there. So there is really no need uh, to push it to the limit and use this distro. I think, uh, yeah, I think we cover everything there. Uh, so guys, again, thanks to everyone who are supporting the channel uh, financially or just by watching the video or giving a thumb up. Guys, you are the best. Uh, that's it uh, for this video. I wish you to have a great rest of your day and see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.